Welcome to the challenge, welcome to the challenge, welcome to the challenge today. Welcome to the challenge, welcome to the challenge, a whole lot of fun is on its way. It should have been the Easter holidays, you might have been flying away, but we've had to stick with this pandemic, so here is the challenge today. Welcome to the challenge, welcome to the challenge, welcome to the challenge today. Yeah, can I can I give you a ring back in a couple of minutes? Yeah, I'm just doing the, the challenge. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, wear the yellow ones. Just wear the yellow ones. Yeah. You've had the blue ones on for weeks. Yeah, but they're just underpants. Just, just wear the yellow ones. Okay, speak to you later. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Watley, again. Never knows what to do. Anyway, welcome to our first challenge. It's gonna be great over the next few days. Today's challenge is a care challenge. right there okay and today's challenge is designed to make the next couple of weeks feel a bit different feel a little bit like people are getting a bit of a break now some of you might have been going away anyway these next couple of weeks some of you might have just been staying at home lots of you i know will have been working anyway adults children you might have had all kinds of plans lined up but the next couple of weeks you're just going to have to dig in so today's challenge is to set up a care plan. A care plan for the next couple of weeks. And this is how it works. First of all, you need a sheet of paper and a pen. That's all you need to get started. And I want you to set up a table on your bit of paper like this. So basically you're gonna have columns running down. The first column is gonna be the day that we're focusing on. And then each of the other columns is gonna be each member of your household. So everyone that you are, you are with in your house all of the time, or maybe go for a bit of exercise with, but we're only looking at the people who you're in the house with. Now, I've left these blank because I don't know how many you're gonna have, but if it was Singletary HQ, we would have me, Mrs. Singletary, and my two daughters, okay? So, first of all, set up your table, set up your chart. Now, what I want you to think about are things that each of you can do in the house over the next couple of weeks, in the house or in the garden, things that you can do to be kind to each other and to give people a bit of a break. I also want you to think of things that are going to be a little bit of a treat or a little bit something different for you. And what you're going to do is, on each day, next to each name, you are gonna put something that has to happen. Now, every day, I want most people in the house to do something kind for other people that they wouldn't normally do. And one person a day gets a treat. Let me show you what I mean. So, this is the Singletary chart. This is the start of the Singletary care plan. So, day one, which is today, I would say that I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm happy to do that, I'm not great, but I'll give it a go. So I'm gonna cook dinner today for the rest of the house. Daughter number one is gonna wash up. Daughter number two is gonna tidy her bedroom because she normally leaves it to other people, just like lots of you do, I should imagine. But today, those are the three things that we are gonna do for the house. Mrs. Singletary gets to choose the film that we put on. And that's a bit of a treat because normally it's other people's choice. Okay, that's day one. Day two, now remember, everybody needs something to do. One person can have the treat. The rest of the people are gonna do the, the kindness to other people. So I've put down to wash up on day two. I normally do that anyway, but I've put down that I'm gonna do it on day two. Uh, Mrs. Singletary is gonna do the family ironing. So she doesn't normally do mine, I normally do my own, but on this day, she's gonna have a go at doing, so I was gonna say work shirts, but hey, it won't be that, will it? Uh, 
Daughter number one, now she gets a little bit extra tablet time or phone time, whatever you call it. And then daughter number two is gonna make all the beds in the house, not just hers, she's gonna make all of them, okay? Hopefully you're getting a sense of how this works now. Then day three, I've kind of stopped there. I've put that my treat, which is the little asterisk, is to make another school video. It might not, it might not seem like a treat to you, but it keeps me smiling start to finish. So then you carry that on for the rest of the Easter break, the two weeks. Every day, somebody has something to do that they wouldn't ordinarily do. Something to work hard and be kind for the rest of the house. One person a day gets to choose a treat. Map it all out, put it all into that chart. And if you really want to, this would be great. Take a photo and tweet it to, at Remote Stukely. Tweet it in, that way I can share some of the things you've been doing. Extra challenge, each day you can tick things off. See how you're getting on. Right, that's our first challenge. See how we get on for the next couple of weeks with that one. See you tomorrow for the next one. Cheers. Let's get started on the challenge. Let's get started on the challenge. Let's get started on the challenge today. Let's get started on the challenge, let's get started on the challenge, a whole lot of fun is on its way.